And I'm just along for the ride today. He's the captain. He's at the controls. So we're about a hundred acres into the harvest of the field now and we happen to be splitting the back corner of the field right on the test area we talked about in the last video where we had the different rates of nitrogen but I screwed up and I uh, let the fungicide check strip end up on the two lowest rates of nitrogen. We're currently going through the high nitrogen area and remember I was using that app on my phone to estimate yields real quick for the video. And I told you they were kind of low. They were both under under 200. I want to say this area was like 190. Well, it's coming across the yield monitor. And the, oh, 220, 230 there. It popped up to 259. It's kind of holding steady there around 230. You can see the iPads here in the combine is going through the dark green strip so that's the highest in eventually we'll get over to the low end and later I can use the iPad to break down each of the strips and we'll talk about the yield all right so now we are splitting the field we happen to be on that lowest applied nitrogen pass where whoops there's no fungicide and the next highest Nitrogen will have no fungicide either. You can kind of see in the leaves above the ears. It's like broken down a little more Where there's no fungicide We'll have to see how the dollars shake out later, but we're running Just under 200 bushel an acre on the yield monitor that goes down to 187 189 197 200 So yeah, it's definitely lower than the high nitrogen but we spent a lot more money on nitrogen and another fifteen dollars and fifty cents on the fungicide so when we get through this we will see we'll break this down and look at all the passes uh, I'll whip up a little spreadsheet and we will see which one comes out the best so you can see we're in the lowest applied nitrogen uh, I think that was 50 pounds I think is what was put on here so i just side dressed 50 pounds plus there were there was uh like 20, 20 or 25 pounds and with uh dry fertilizer uh along with the um <laughs> phosphorus and potassium that kind of stuff uh probably had some ammonium sulfate things like that out here got a little nitrogen that way but they all had that so it'll be interesting to see what this low input pass as versus the high input pass as far as the dollars go yeah that's true we can get a little farther since the yield's not as good so we'll turn around here we'll keep cutting this test plot and we will see what the dollars are later so here we go here's the yield map of the whole home south field the big field south of the shop we're following this year uh, we're looking at the climate field view cab app right now this is so handy. I use this all the time, especially when we're doing trials like this. And you can kind of see this purple area, not as good. That's where the low fungicide, well, no, no fungicide, and where I forgot about that and uh, had the low nitrogen rates. So what we can do, we can go in here and look at the different passes. And let's match it up. We can go back in season with my anhydrous ammonia passes. And... See, now you can see all the different rates from the dark red up to the dark green we were looking at in the combine. You got this region report tool right here. Click on create field region. You can draw a free hand. You can create a polygon, any shape you want, or select passes, which is great for these field scale trials. So, see, we'll just select that pass. Hit done. It's going to take a few seconds to generate the report here. And there you go. So you can see for that pass, which that's actually a 60 foot planter pass is what it's doing. So that's two passes of the combine and the combine's all lined up with the planter. So that works. So two and a half acres, 196 bushels an acre. And we can do that across this whole trial. And you can save the region if you want. And it'll leave a little blue thing there, a little shaded blue area. So you can come back and find that later. 
And I got other trials out here. We had, let's see, corn fungicide. We skipped some passes out here. Let's see if the fungicide paid. As you can see, that's pretty well lined up there. Maybe a little overlap sprayer wasn't perfect. But uh, yeah, see, I told the neighbors that did this, they could leave a skip pass in this back corner. Um, I forgot I had this test going on. So we talked about that last video. But here's another one. So I did the region reports there. We actually found out in this field the fungicide did not pay, but here across the road, it did pay. It was like uh, six to nine bushels better over there. So now that we've done the field region reports, we got the info we want. Let's go and look at the dollars and cents on this thing. So here's my little spreadsheet I whipped up. So you can see on the left, in rates from 50 to 250. And then I have my cost of the nitrogen. Uh, whether or not there was fungicide, cost of the fungicide, what the yield was, and then the gross is just the yield times what we had corn, waxy corn in this case, contracted for $4.28 a bushel. And then the net, well, just with these inputs, you know, we're considering everything else is the same. We're just looking at nitrogen and fungicide here, same hybrid, all planted also at the same population. So you can see actually the high input was the winner this time. So, and looks like second place uh, was the 200 pound end rate with fungicide. And then interestingly enough, it looks like in third place, um, we got a, a lower rate. Um, usually I'm between 150 and 170 on my side dress. So 125 pounds in with the fungicide, um, our net was 886, of course, it's not our true net. You know, we got land cost, machinery, fuel, blah, 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 all that stuff. But that should be equal across so we can just kind of compare this as it is what we did as the variables. So that's really cool. Uh, another place I use climate field view. We can back up here, uh, go on this uh, corn on corn trial where I did um, moved the nitrogen up and down 20 pounds um, as I changed the population by 3,000 up and down from 32,000. And you can see this time actually... This is what gets me excited, this kind of stuff. Um, our lowest population, lowest nitrogen, um, both of them were actually the most money makers. And then the high population kicked in, and then the centers were the two lowest. So I like seeing uh, <laughs> seed and fertilizer salesmen might not like seeing that uh, lowest pop, lowest fert won the day. So that's cool. Get those spreadsheets from using field view cab here now that populates back up and we can pop back to the yield map and there you go that's how the dollars and cents worked out on this field looks like high input was the winner this time um, but th that other field is this field right here just a mile away or so as the crow flies and low input was the winner so it's Fun and interesting to keep all this stuff tracked just uh, right here at hand in the iPad. We're making the last pass of the field track field. Very last pass. Gonna end it up at the far end of the field away from the bins, but uh, should be able to get it all on the cart and the combine, I think. Getting full up at the dryer so things are slowing down a little bit we just had to wait on a truck for about 10 minutes but uh, i think we can get this last pass in after this we got to move 12 miles north another 250 acres of corn up there and that'll be it for corn then we got double crop beans after that so we're coming to the end of the pass here looks like this field we're going to call it 214 bushel an acre by the yield monitor get a premium since this is waxy corn on the contract uh, the first 180 bushels doubt they'll take any extra if everybody else have them get his year around here as we are but yeah that's pretty good we're happy with that and we're getting it all put in the bins now I have a little more drying to do tonight get it all dried and dryer and loaded and see what bins we got left for the dent corn we have yet to do so here we go. We're about to come out the end of the row. Right here.
get everything topped off here. Come by and empty it out. Pretty happy with this field for the year. And there we go. Grain tank's empty. Field is empty. No more corn left out here. Yeah.